Today we will be replacing the air filter and cleaning the throttle body on a GMC Envoy. We will also be answering the question, how often should I clean my throttle body? And, can a dirty air filter affect my gas mileage? For this service, you will need the following. One air filter and the following tools. Um, 10 millimeter um, socket. Um. <laughs> oh, I That's okay. And a, um, screw, a flathead screw. Yeah, Remove okay. the three bolts from the air filter box with the screwdriver. There. Remove the box and replace the old air filter up. with the new one. That bit, that whole big black square thing. Keep pulling it up. Get your other hand on the left side of it. Yep, keep pulling. You won't break anything, don't worry. Just try to lift it up. There you go. And you can just set it on the ground. Yeah. And just pull it towards you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it's dirty. And now just take the air filter out of it. It's in the box. Okay, now see how there's a hole on one end? Plug that in to that pipe. Yep. So just lift it up. It, it's tight. Okay. Place the air box back on the tight. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's making no, and he did not get hurt when I did that. He just always, all right, you, you probably should start. <laughs> <laughs> Place the air box back on and tighten the three screws. So there we go. To clean the throttle body, you will need a toothbrush, throttle body cleaner, <laughs> screwdriver, and extensions. Use a flathead to remove the clamps from the air box intake. You're good. Oh. It's alright, don't worry about it. I'll get it. Stay. Now we're going to use the 10 millimeter socket wrench. Um, Next, remove the two 10 millimeter bolts from the air intake resonator. You might need an extension to get the bolts. Good job. Okay, and yeah, just push that to the side. Okay. Good job. See? Mm -hmm. So now that is totally removed. So now we're going to remove this. Unplug the wiring harness from the throttle body and the connector that plugs into the front of the throttle body. Remove the four 10 <laughs> millimeter bolts from the throttle body. There you go. This thing will probably last me my whole life. Spray both sides of the butterfly valve with throttle body cleaner. Scrub both sides. Try not to actually open the valve while cleaning as it will cause ca calibration issues with the PCM once reinstalled. Reinstall the throttle body and tighten the four 10 millimeter bolts. So if you were to start your car right now, would it run? Um, yes, but it wouldn't accelerate at all, almost. Yeah. Torque the four bolts to 89 inch-pounds, as stated in the Haynes manual. Reconnect the wiring harness and the front connector yeah, to the throttle tape, body. Then I'm going to take this. Wait, 
snap that in, right? Mm -hmm. Take this, snap that in. We're gonna take this old guy. Place the air intake resonator back on and reconnect the PCV. Back in. And attach it right there. Now we gotta get this thing right there though. See it? Actually, we don't we want that on tight. See? Mm -hmm. And get this. Yeah. So like how close are we, how close to being done are we with the actual footage? Pretty close. We're Use a screwdriver to tighten the fastener for the air intake. I'm gonna stop. That's fine. Cause I tighten I both 10 millimeter bolts either. on the air intake okay. resonator. You will need to reset the PCM before starting the car. Pull fuses 10 and 28 with needle nose pliers and wait 15 minutes before reinstalling the fuses and starting the car. How often should I clean my throttle body? Every five years or 60,000 miles. Can a dirty air filter affect my gas mileage? Yes, dirty air filter can allow dirt to get into the throttle body, which will decrease your gas mileage. The parts and prices are listed below. Warren Reviews saved a total of $207 on this repair. Thanks for watching. Oh, you're fine. Oh yeah, we can edit that out. <laughs> Just like me beating the dog. <laughs>